Welcome back again in Latilides tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create an editable vector cinema light bulb sign text effect in Adobe Illustrator. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I created a 3D frame effect with a light bulb around it. Add a texture to the center of the text, and at the beginning of the tutorial I'll show you how I created this beautiful glitter purple background. This is a long journey of how I create various editable text effects in Illustrator with different styles, and this is the 12th video. You can watch another tutorial about editable text effect in the link above. Okay without any further ado let's jump into Adobe Illustrator. As usual, create a document with RGB color mode, remember the document must be in RGB. Okay let's start with the background. This time I want to create a background with a different style compared to the previous tutorials. Create a rectangle with the rectangle tool with the size of the artboard size. For the color of this background, I'll give it a gradient purple color with the palette colors that I've prepared for this tutorial, these two colors for the background, and rest as the colors for the text effect. Open the gradient panel. Left click this gradient annotator to apply this gradient to the rectangle. First, change the gradient type to radial gradient. Next, I'm gonna change the color of these two color stop with these purple colors. Select by left click the color stop on the left then activate the color picker below it, and just pick the lightest purple. And for the other color stop with the dark purple color. We are done with these gradient panel, just close this panel for a while, and switch using the gradient tool on the toolbar to modify, and increase the size of the gradient in this rectangle. After the gradient tool is activated, then you can see the gradient annotator is now in the rectangle, where we can modify this gradient directly on the object. First, Drag the gradient annotator slightly above the artboard to move the center point of this gradient. Then drag the end point of the gradient annotator slightly off the artboard to increase the size of the gradient. And it's done perfectly. Next, I'm going to give this gradient color a glitter texture. First thing to do is to duplicate this rectangle, go to the edit menu. Copy. Back to the edit menu again. And paste in place. To create the texture, go to the effect menu. Texture and Grain. Just fill the intensity and the contrast with 80. Grain type in regular. And click OK. Next, open the transparency panel to reduce the opacity to 50%. And change the blending mode to lighten. Perfect. I really like this glitter purple background. Now, it's time to create the text and give it some effects in the appearance panel. Use the type tool to create the text. Type any text you want. I use Montserrat font, with black font style. 320 point for the font size. You can use any font you like but it must be an extra bold font. Click on this character button to open the character panel. And set the tracking to 100, to give the character some space. Next, open the appearance panel to give it some effects. The first thing we're going to do is to remove the default black color from this character. Double click on the character layer. On the fill layer, replace the black color with none. Back to the default appearance by click on the top layer. The first thing that we gonna do on this appearance is to create a stroke, a new stroke. Just click add new stroke. Increase the stroke weight to 22 point. And for the colors we gonna give it a gradient color with these two orange colors. Make sure this stroke layer is still selected, and open the gradient panel. Click on the gradient annotator to apply this gradient to the character. Gradient type to linear. And change the angle to 90 degrees. Now, we gonna change the colors of these two color stop, and add more color stops in between. Left click the left color stop. Activate the color picker below it, and pick the darkest orange color. Whereas for the other color stop with the lightest orange color. Next. Add more color stop between these two color stops, by duplicate the existing color stops. Hold Alt key on Windows, or Option key on Mac. Click and drag the color stop on the left to near the color stop on the right. Change the position to 80%. Duplicate the color on the right to the center of this gradient annotator, and change the position to 60%. Add more two color stop between these color stops, the bright color stop with position 20% and the last color stop with position 40%. Now we have got a gradient color with two alternating colors. 
or you can also give it more than two different gold colors. Here I only use two colors just to shorten this tutorial. The point is just make sure that you get what I have shown here. Close this gradient panel, and back to the appearance panel, and duplicate this stroke layer. Click duplicate selected item button. And for the top stroke layer reduce its weight to 18 point. Open the gradient panel and reverse the gradient with this reverse button. Now, we have a nice chamfer for the edge of this text, and we get it from the last stroke layer, and we are done with the frame of the light bulb. Next, we gonna create the bulb inside this frame. In the appearance panel, create a new stroke layer above the last stroke layer, so click this layer first and click add new stroke button. Change the color to 100% white. Reduce the weight to 10 point. Now we gonna turn this line into points to create the bulb. Open the stroke panel here, with this button. Change the cap to round cap. Now it's time to make turn this line to dots with the dash line. Activate the dash line. Set the dash to 0. And the gap with 30. Next, we gonna make this dot glow like a light bulb. To do so, we gonna duplicate this stroke first. Select this stroke, and click duplicate selected item button. Select the second stroke layer on the appearance, not the first one. Change the color with default yellow on the swatches. Increase the weight to 13 point. Duplicate this stroke again, the yellow one. And select the stroke below. Again, increase the weight to 15. After that, add blur effect to this stroke. Add new effect. Blur. Gaussian blur. Radius 2 pixel and click OK. And now the bulb is already on. Next, we gonna fill this empty space with red and give it some texture. On the appearance panel, we only use this fill layer first, and give a red gradient with these two colors in the palette. Select this empty fill layer, then open the gradient panel. For this gradient, we only need two color stops, so just remove the others, by click and drag out of the gradient annotator, and leave only two color stops. Gradient type to linear and change the angle to 90 degrees. The left color stop with the lightest red, and the other one with the darkest red. Modify the gradient annotator on text manually to get the gradient in right position. Back to the appearance panel, and add two more effect. Add new effect, stylize, and inner glow. Change the color to 100% black. Blending mode to multiply. Opacity 100%. And blur 22 pixel. And click OK. Next, add new effect. Stylize. And drop shadow. Change the color to 100% white. Blending mode to lighten. Opacity 100. X and Y offset 0 pixel. And the last is 10 pixel for the blur. Click OK. Back to the appearance panel to give it a steel texture. We just need to duplicate this layer fill. Select this layer fill, and click duplicate selected item button. Remove all effects first for this layer fill, we don't need it anyway. After all the effects have been removed, it's time to add a new one. Add new effect. Sketch. Graphic pen. 6 for the stroke length. 24 for light or dark balance and stroke direction in right diagonal. Click OK. After that, in opacity right here. Change the blending mode to soft light. And reduce the opacity to 30%. We move to the next step which is to create the 3D effect by using only the transform effect. But first create a new layer fill below the last layer fill, so select this character layer first. Add new fill. And for this fill layer, we gonna give it a gradient color. The same gradient as the stroke layer, but only with 4 color stop. Open the gradient panel. Make sure the angle is 90 degree. Change the color of this left color stop, with light orange on the palette. And the other color stop with the darkest orange. Add 2 more color stop between by duplicate the existing color stop. Hold Alt key on Windows, or Option key in Mac. Click and drag the left color stop to the right with location 70% and the right color stop to the left with position 35%.
back to the appearance panel and give this layer a transform effect to create a 3D effect. Add new effect. Distort and transform. Transform. 99.8% for both horizontal and vertical scale. And 20 for the copies. Leave the rest by default and click OK. The transform effect that has been given is not visible yet, that's because it is covered by the two stroke layers above which have been increased in weight. So to fix this issue, we have to add more effect to increase the size. Add new effect. Path. Offset path. And fill the offset with 11 point. Add more effect below the transform effect. Click this opacity layer, not in the opacity button. Add new effect. Stylize. Inner glow. Change the color to black. Blending mode to multiply. 40% for the opacity. 15 pixel for the blur. Click OK. This inner glow to create a soft shadow from the back of this 3D body text. And for the last step for this editable vector cinema light bulb sign text effect is to create the shadow. So we need one more fill above the character layer. Select the character layer first and add new fill. Change the color to 100% black. Add new effect. Distort and transform. Transform. Change the horizontal scale to 90%. And vertical move to 70%. Click OK. Add new effect again. Blur. Gaussian blur. And fill the radius with 20%. Click OK. That's all for today's tutorial, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, because I still have a lot of things that I want to show you about Adobe Illustrator. If this tutorial is very helpful, don't hesitate to give a like, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. See you in the next tutorial.